Hey folks, uh, I wanted to talk about the PhD guiding using PEC tool. PEC stands for Periodic Error Correction. I posted a video on PhD guiding and how to improve PhD guiding earlier. And there were a bunch of suggestions asking why I'm not using the PEC tool. I didn't know what PEC tool was, so I started researching. I found the software available on Celestron to download. This is a free software and you can just be in there for a while. You can download it. It's a pretty small software and maybe you got to make it compatible to Windows 10 because it's older software. But anyway, once you download it and install it for uh, Windows 10, uh, what you got to do is uh, you have to connect that software to your uh, mount hand controller using the USB. So there are two choices there. One is uh, train the PEC, which is nothing but recording your PEC. The other one is uh, to play back. If you are not sure what periodic error correction is all about, there is a help guide available. Yeah, if you go to the help guide, you should be able to see here all the details about PEC, what PEC is, what is a warm gear. And this warm gear oscillates, and when it is doing the oscillations in the warm gear, it causes the minor imperfections, which will cause, you know, the sine curve kind of, the curve that you see there. They will not be exactly the same uh, every time when it oscillates, when it rotates. So what this tool does, it, it records like these uh, rotations like five times in a batch and then averages it out. And, and uh, you have an option there to upload the PEC curl file to your mount so that mount understands what corrections it has to make because these tend to repeat at, a, at an interval. So that's what it is recording. So that's why it is called periodic. So if it is not fixing your problem in one go after you upload, you can also like save your files whenever you record to your mount, to your uh, uh, laptop. Let me show you how this works. So let me disconnect all the uh, software and then if you go to this connect, it connects it, right? So you go into this batch file. Uh, you don't need to use the other ones. Average is if you have multiple files, but you have to create a file first in the batch. And it pops up this window. The first time when you come here, you have to press this seek index, which is going to put a target marker, like, you know, the beginning marker of your, of your uh, warm gear and it just records it. It records the oscillation, it records like a sine curve, right? So each training, uh, training one, training two, each training that it is doing is really recording an oscillation. And once it completes like five times, it says that, well, I have a file now, I completely averaged it out. Do you want it to upload it? If you say yes, it will upload the file to the mount and you're good to go. You can also do the same thing multiple times, meaning the same day you can have like four or five files and you go into that file and average and you can try it out like by uploading um, an average file as well. So yeah, you can upload a batch file or you can upload four or five batch files and use that average option to put like one file there so that it improves your uh, improves your guiding. So when you go into the menu of your hand controller, the hand controller menu will have menu utilities. There are two choices there. One is record and the other one is playback. And when it is doing the playback, when, when you go into the option playback, 
uh, turn it on because now the mount has a file to play so if you turn it on I guess you have to turn this on every time you start the mount and also obviously if you reset the mount you may have to upload from your computer the file again so I'm still playing with this tool there is also a um, paid tool available called PAM Pro thanks for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are watching it for the first time thank you